Somebody.
He drove us here. I think he's doing the merch. So, uh, what do we do with requests? Fuck you! Come on! Really? Come on! Come on! Come on! Jesus Christ! Hey, boys, don't cry! Yeah, well, it sounds like you're a bitch in the morning. Goodbye, family! Goodbye, family! Tonight it's about me, not you! Oh, oh. Right. Anaheim, there's no, uh, totally, I mean, it's cool to have a place like this out here, don't get me wrong, um, purveyors of such fine establishment. <laughs> it's all ages, that's cool, but what about the ages that want to drink? <laughs> Probably plenty of fucking bitch trying to get a fucking uh, legal license out of here, so trust me, as a service employee for about 17, 18 years, I completely understand and sympathize with your problems and everything. So, uh, yeah, we got, you know, the booze thing and some of the kids don't want in their red pills because they need a red bull. The kids need the candy, right? Ride the teeth out their mouth, don't you dare drink a beer though, you son of a bitch. You guys like, you like you get sponsored by the ADA or something? Push the Skittles. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Where is that? That is some friend of mine over here. Neil Cleary, are you here? Yeah, you are Neil Cleary. Very dear friend of mine, he moved out here recently. Very good singer songwriter. Not like, you know, the, the jumping around crazy shit you guys are doing here. But the, I'm a fan and he's a friend. He sure goes out to Neil because he likes to go to the old uh, melancholy, don't you, Neil? Damn skipper, you do. I hooked him up with a fucking, uh, with a hua once, though. Uh, well, just, you know, he didn't pay for it, but, you know. She wanted to like to hang out and he was like, what should I do? I was like, well fuck it, go get it. And he did and she wanted to be a pain in the ass, but I think he got something. But anyway. <laughs> you want it, Neil? Go close my eyes.
strong, Anthony. Look at you. You're like a big boy making the drums move. You kick like a horse. <laughs> what are you two trying? You got a chance to go? Fuck you. My dad's outside. Come on. Invite him in. Buy him some Skittles. <laughs> Yeah. Well, you, you, you were just jumping off here singing, right? That was you? No, 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 was it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What the fuck were you eating before, baloney? <laughs> Motherfucker, brush your teeth when you're gone, pal. It's really fucking hot dogs up here.
guys still do the circle thing. That's cool. I like that actually. No, I don't. No, I appreciate it. That's how I got started. You know? Hey, right there. Is it so right? Where the gremlins put the meat tea? So, uh, what are we doing here? This one, uh, this one goes out to, uh, I'm gonna, okay, I'm getting up on my pulpit now. Um, this one goes out to my brother Lars. Okay, my brother Lars, everybody knows, yes, he's from the band Rancid. This guy's been punk rock since fucking, you know, day fucking one. He's doing his new fucking band now called the Old Front Casuals. You know what? Yeah, he cut his hair. He's dressed a little smarter. Good for him. Would you rather he turn into a fucking metalhead or a fucking hippie like the rest of the fucking punk rockies and shit? So the man wants to look good and fucking start playing in another band? Everybody, you only fucking skin today, fucking jerk offs, wanna talk shit about my fucking friend who's been around fucking longer than any of these fucking assholes. So anybody's got a fucking problem with us, then what he's doing, suck my dick, okay? Fuck you and suck my dick.
That's the fucking truth. It was a fashion thing. It was a way of life until the 80s when they put out that album that we all fell in love with. That's the fucking truth. That's what skinhead is in America. If it wasn't for hardcore, there'd be no fucking skinhead in America. So fuck you, you little fucking traditional fucking wannabe bullshit. This is America. Yeah, I like Fred Perry's and shit like that too, but I'm an American, dick. I ain't sucking no queen cunt. We got this big thing coming up in September. Now, Condemned 84 can't play for whatever stupid reason. They just played here last year and it was fine. They wanted to blame us. They're not even playing. Then they blame it around the guys in Germany. They got nothing to do with it. Oh, they're not Nazis. They a picture with him and Phil from the Templars. Phil's a good friend of mine, but he is the go-to guy when you want to prove you're not a Nazi. They're like, don't look at me and Phil. He and my bass buddy said it like, you know, years ago. I think there's a picture of Ian Stewart floating around holding Phil when he was a baby. That's right, Phil, talking shit about Joe right across the country. God bless him. I love the tap laws. Love the tap laws. This is for the tap laws. They're not even here. They played with us in November, it was fucking cool to bring like a skinhead band on stage with hardcore bands the way that it used to be. There was no separation, it was fucking, everybody wanted to show us was, that's all we fucking had. That's all there was. We had each other, skins, punks, hardcore kids, whatever, skateboards, whatever the fuck you want. You didn't suck and divide and conquer? No, you couldn't, you, you divide, you don't conquer, you divide and conquer yourselves, you fucking assholes. I'm not saying you gotta hold each other's hand and love each other. No, most of you go fuck yourselves, but as I care. But don't be a fucking jerk off. Alright, bottom line. You are all you have. Remember that. That took me years, that took us years to fucking put together. Years. When it first started out, I couldn't stand half these niggas. And that's the fucking truth. Because they were annoying bunch of cocksuckers coming to my show to start fights. They grew up, most of them. This one goes out to my DMS family. Black and blue, true and true. It's called Roses.
kid besides you? There's a gay mouse? What? Gay mice. They have gay mice, right? 2011? I said let them get married. I support the gay mice marriage bill. Would they be mice? Yeah, that's horrible. Would they be nieces? Oh, oh god. <laughs> I'm 43 years old. This is rushing my head all the time. I got a fucking problem. <laughs> Can I get to look the lake on this line? Where's to look the lake? Is that anyone in here? No, I just remember that from the little rascals. Oh. To look the lake. And that's they, they did that race with Waldo and and and, and Al Crawford. They had the ducks at the engine with the feet in the thing. Okay. Show my age? What? It was in black and white, too. What else? Okay, okay, I'm older than you are. What? I'm older than you are. How's that working out for you, honey? <laughs> God bless you. You put that where you want it. <laughs> this is uh, what I can say. We're going in next week to record the EP. Two new songs and a cover song. Thank you. You haven't even heard it yet. So, so what? You know, we're together on that one. So, uh, going in to record that next week and then mixing the following week. And <laughs> be out on Reaper Records. Uh, it's going to have a fold out. So, uh, a fold out uh, sleeve thing, like a poster. We saw the artwork for it last night. Really fucking cool. Came out like my boy Ed, who drew the cover for the Love Songs album, did the inside. It's got a monkey and bulldogs. It's fucking cool. Yeah. Two of the things I love most are like monkey and bulldog. If there's a monkey sound something on television, I'm buying it. Bottom line. I drink PG tips, it's an English tea. Why? Because they used to have monkeys, chimpanzees, dressed in, with English accents, like drinking this shit, talking about it. Fucking cool! <laughs> no, it's a I watch the Food Network and Adam Plant. If there's a monkey baby in a pie, fuck it out! <laughs> Oh, wait. You gonna try something here? Where are we going? Oh, well, hey, you, you can get my bottles. It's all right. I'm okay with it. I know. Chris Powerhouse, this jump. Give me a hand. Come on. He took a chance tonight. He flew us out here and last night. And tonight, we argued. We pitched and moaned at each other. He still hates me. No. <laughs> Oh, good. Much love to you. Although we were calling you for a while, I gotta be honest, we were calling you Chris Bargain basement because of the Southwest Airlines. <laughs> Chris House of Bargains. <laughs> no, you woke it up. No, you did. You did. You did. You didn't get cheap at No, you didn't get Oh, oh. Uh. So this is uh, one of the new songs that's going to be on the uh, EP, which stands for Extended Play. This goes out to my, uh, my ex-girlfriend who's uh, now living in St. Louis. Fuck you, honey. Stay there. Her blue shadows will fall.
Brandy. You're fascinated with Brandy, aren't you? Right? Are you high? You huffing blue? Are you doing the drugs, son? Are you doing the drugs? What are you doing the drugs for? You're breaking your mother's heart, you know. How do you know that anymore? You know where your mother's heart is? Out drinking and drugging. Making her cry. Saturday night in front of the stage, there's a big fat white guy yelling, screaming about a broken heart. That's where your mother's heart is. See? Think about that. You selfish bastard. Do you like the song, Brandy, by the looking glass? Because I do. I do. I have a 45 at home. Not a 45 is, right? Not a gun, no. Do 7 inch. You know what 7 inch is? Ask your father. Wow, he has an extensive record collection. Oh, I think you Yeah. What's brown and rhymes with Snoop? Dr. Dre.
sit here.
And uh, we're going to cut it to actually would like to hang out and have a couple of iced teas. Yeah. Maybe some, maybe some Skittles. Twix! You got any of that fun dip? Do you have any or not? Got any Rolo? Got any Hey, all right. If a single man, much of, not unlike myself, were to talk to a lady here in the audience, not unlike any of you, if he was to offer you some candy, what would you like? Skittles. Skittles. Sound like a fucking Really? Who the fuck ever happened to cocaine? You're so You're all fucking fancy now when you steal from your sneakers. I'm talking about a 40 bag in a hotel room, honey. Come on. Fucking opera, I ain't doing that shit. <laughs> 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 Some cocaine. Cake, 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 cake. Alright, so I get a lot of my stick. Get the Snickers and Skittles. What happened to Smorgasbord? I was like, yeah, Smorgasbord. A Smorgasbord. Like freaking, uh, what's his name? Mason Reese. Did you have a value when you were a kid? I did. He was a flat kid. Now he's a flat man. Mason Reese, he was really funny looking. Anyway. Oh, I know. So we have three more songs. I know I go dang and nothing because I gotta like walk all the way back there and there's a couch, the shit, I'm gonna sit. You don't want me to get up. I mean, you know, what about my needs? No, you know, you know it, it, job, he's sweaty, you sit down there. I mean, that couch has got to stink like, you know, worse than your grandmother's house, you know? So when I call it a jerk off, including myself, I turn on a jerk off, I'm an asshole. There's a difference. Jerk off doesn't know it's a jerk off. Asshole weighs it properly. I can insult myself and get applause. Look at that. I'm fucking man. It's good to be a kid. <laughs> so we yeah, had three more songs and then uh, we'll be back probably in the year's time. Hopefully by the time we come back here we'll have an album out. And uh, it, would, it would be nice. Some new songs for you to like to jump around and do yeah. fight dancing. You know. Whoever that guy is, no baloney before shows anymore. No more hot dogs before the pit, okay? Whoa! Not attractive. One? No, well, like, in the after one? Well, for breakfast. <laughs> they brush your teeth. Brush, brush, your, brush your, what, the, the, the white hat. Uh, <laughs> How is that an option? <laughs> You go to the 7-Eleven, you get a fucking thing. You know, blistery. You know, you spit out the window. That's why you go home alone, you know. No? I'm not that cool, really. I know. I know. I'm not. I'm not. Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah, I'm sure. So, yeah. Offering on a light, which is for 26 years to be playing in this band along. The crazy thing was a hiatus. You know that? I ain't getting the bald headed guy going, hey, you wanna hang out? <laughs> if it is a girl, it's like the bald headed guy would hate on his warhead's girlfriend. You're not better than me! <laughs> Well, three more songs here, and uh... We love a musical drunk! We love a musical drunk! We love a musical drunk! You like it, who the hell, huh? 
You should bring in your mother's money. You didn't think about a word I told you, did you? You poor, what's your mother's name? I'm not going to insult her. You do enough of that yourself. What's your, what's your mother's name? Julie? Poor Julie. Julie, everybody, we go over the night say a prayer for Julie. Say, Julie, we're trying. We're trying, he's not. We try to talk to him. Tough love. In front of, you know, come on, if that's what people you need, whatever it is. It's not working. He just doesn't need You're stingy with your love. You know that. You only love yourself. Except when you want that hat. I'm not hating on you, you're hating on yourself. Hey, Julie, Julie! Anybody hit him, Maria? Rick, come on, with all the Mexicans in this friggin' place, you don't hit Maria? Bullshit! No? Yeah, and your uncle doesn't own a restaurant either, right? <laughs> That's just in the movies. Thanks for coming out tonight, really. We'll be back. Thanks for putting up with my check. He's uh, going for the first down. Here's one's little Andrew Jackson's.